In this video, you'll learn what types of tools you can use to set up occlusion when designing dentures. Smile Composer is the main step to select a smile library for your denture and set up the occlusion. Smile Composer consists of Smile Library Selector, which allows you to choose smile libraries appropriate for a particular case. Design Tools. These are the tools for composing a smile. We have different smile libraries with different styles here from which you can choose the library provider, its type and size that you prefer. The type and size of your library can be selected for right posterior teeth, left posterior teeth, upper anterior teeth, and lower anterior teeth. Under the provided name, you have some options for browsing the libraries to choose from. The Show Full Arch Libraries Only checkbox which shows only libraries with the upper and lower teeth prepared as one set with predefined arch shape and overbite over jet. The Use Single Posterior Library checkbox, which applies the same library for both the left and right posterior teeth. The Use Combination Chart checkbox, which shows only posterior and lower anterior libraries that match the selected upper anterior library following particular combination rules. These rules are set in Dental System Control Panel, Full Dentures, Smile Libraries Chart. The Smile Library will appear on the screen after you select the chosen one and click the Apply button. The software uses the position of the occlusion plane that you defined at the beginning of the design for the teeth setup. Design tools allow you to set up the smile for the denture. It's better to move from the left to the right in the available toolset, from big movements when you work with the whole arch to small ones that allow you to adjust each tooth individually. The first tool is the occlusal plane adjustment. With this tool, you move the teeth as if you were moving the occlusal plane. You can grab the whole arch and move it with the mouse, or you can use the red and blue control points to make more precise adjustments. The next step is to adjust the shape of the arch. You can use the arch setup and manual arrangement tools for that. The main difference between these two tools is that arch setup tries to automatically adapt all other teeth to the changes you make. And manual arrangement allows you to freely move blocks of teeth or an individual tooth without other teeth adapting to that moved part. Both tools allow you to use the symmetric design mode, where adjusting one tooth will also be reflected on the opposing tooth in the opposite side of the arch. The Show Overlaps option will give you information about what kind of overbite and overjet you have. And you can change anterior teeth inclination. Use Sagittal View to activate this option. The inclination is performed either with Preservation of Overjet whereby each tooth rotates around its incisal edge, or without, where each tooth rotates around its cervical line. With the arch setup tool, you can move all posteriors as one block, if you grab the first premolar with your mouse. And you can rotate the posterior block around the first premolar, if you select another posterior tooth. You can move all posteriors with the canine, if you grab the canine with your mouse. You can adjust all anteriors if you move the central incisors. The movement of lateral incisors does not move other teeth. But please remember, the arch setup tool tries to adapt other teeth to your changes. With the manual arrangement tool, you can rotate the posterior block around the first premolar if you select another posterior tooth. And you can move teeth if the first premolar or anteriors are selected with your mouse. If you need to define a different position for a tooth, you can use the Individual Setup tool or move or scale an individual tooth. You can move the anteriors with the mouse or use joysticks. Blue to move a tooth. Red to rotate. Green to resize. Yellow to do skew scaling. Also, you can click on the tooth with the right button and use the Bring to Distal Contact 
or bring to mirror plane messial contact tools. For posteriors, you have an additional option. You can rotate a tooth around the lingual cusp for the upper jaw and the buccal cusp for the lower jaw. And if you right click, you'll have an additional option bring to contact with antagonist. It moves the tooth to the first point of contact with the antagonist tooth. You also have an option to remove the second premolars and the second molars at one or both sides. Right click on the second premolar or the second molar and select remove second premolars on this side or remove all second premolars. The individual morphing tool allows you to shape an individual tooth. Please don't use this tool and the green and yellow joysticks on the individual setup tool as well. If you plan to use pre-manufactured carded teeth, you might not get the expected results when you try to glue carded teeth into a denture base. You can use the occlusion map slider to view the distance between the neighboring teeth, as well as the distance for upper and lower jaws. If you move a tooth, the occlusal map will be updated immediately. The closer the color comes to red, the closer are the teeth to each other. The color scale on the right side of the screen will help you read the occlusion map. And if you see blue areas, you have premature contacts there. Also, you can use the green proximity lines on the teeth. They show the areas where distance to the other teeth is less than 200 microns. Turn the Show Collision Details slider on to check the teeth for mutual collisions. Each tooth is marked either with a green tick, where there are no collisions between this tooth and the other teeth, or an information icon, when collisions have been detected. Letters near the information icon indicate the collision type. A stands for collision with the antagonist teeth, D with the neighbor from the distal side, and M with the neighbor from the messial side. Use all the available tools to remove collisions. It might be useful to turn on the original scan slider. If you design an immediate denture, you'll be able to see the position of the natural teeth before extraction. To shape the gingiva more accurately, use gingiva aesthetics and custom settings. In the gingiva aesthetics section, there are the following templates of gingiva. Delicate, natural, and intense. Whenever you wish to see the results, click Preview to generate the base. You can choose one of them as a basic shape of gingiva and adjust it using the six parameters from the custom settings. The first group of parameters is for the interdental papillae, length and width. The second group of parameters is for the root eminence, its thickness and height. The third group of parameters is for the gingival margin, its thickness and grooves. You also have the possibility to use the old Gingiva Builder. To do so, check that option and click Preview to see the results. You have now learned about the tools used to design dentures. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.